We already talked about commas, dashes, and the colon. Today, we're going to talk about the semicolon. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss anything when you upload, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, kanina, we're going to talk about the semicolon today. But we're going to talk about the other punctuation marks. If you haven't seen the videos yet, for them, the link is in the i button if you're watching this on YouTube. Okay? And uh, now, before we dive into the discussion, natin, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, you can do that by buying our merch at shop.teamlaika.com. That is where yung mga mugs, shirts, hoodies, and stuff that I designed for this team can be bought. So, sa mga bumili na, maraming po salamat and thank you for showing me when you wear them because it makes me so happy. And for those na hindi pa nakakabili and bibili pa lang, maraming salamat din sa inyo. You're helping me help more people through this channel. Alright? And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to jump into yung ating discussion na ngayon. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so this is our full lesson on using the semicolon. Medyo tricky tong part na to kasi I will also compare kung ang gagamitin ba dapat ay comma or semicolon. Uh, colon ba dapat or semicolon. And again, napag-usapan na natin dun sa earlier video yung kung paano gumamit ng colon. So if you haven't seen that yet, i-link ko na lang dito sa upper right. What are the functions of semicolon? And we'll talk about two of them right now. First is when you're separating items in a list. So if you have a list or a series of items, tapos may mga additional information about them. We'll talk about that later. And then yung pangalawa na purpose niya, or function niya is to join two independent clauses. Now, if you notice, this is exactly like yung discussion natin when it comes to using the colon. But, there are more, ano ba, more specific na uses ng semicolon versus colon, or semicolon versus comma, and we'll talk about that later. Okay? Doon muna tayo sa first one. Your first one is, again, dividing items in a list or series. Now, let's take this example, yung sentence natin. It says, my family is scattered all over the Philippines in these areas. Tapos gumamit tayo ng colon, which is again, um, isa sa mga function niya, to introduce a list of items. Now, itong next part, hindi ko nilagyan ng punctuation marks. Kasi I want you to really focus on this. Saan ko gagamitin yung semicolon? Sa saan ko naman gagamitin yung comma? Now, if you look here, yung first nakalagay Tondo, Manila, San Fernando, Pampanga, and Batanaklan. So, ibig sabihin, this is a list of things, but dahil ang tondo ay part ng Manila, dapat may comma yan. Okay? So, again, tondo, comma, Manila. Okay? Ang San Fernando naman, again, being part of Pampanga, you can put a com comma there. Tapos yung Batan is in Aklan, so may comma din right there. Now, if you notice, kung gagawin kong comma yan lahat, maguguluhan yung mga tao kasi... Tondo, comma, Manila, comma, San Fernando, comma. Parang halo-halo na sila when in fact, yung tondo is part of Manila. So dahil ganun na may additional information dun sa list or sa series, ang gagamitin natin in between instead of just commas ay semicolon. Okay? So ibig sabihin magiging tondo, comma, Manila, semicolon, San Fernando, comma, Pampanga, tapos another semicolon, and then end, batan, comma, aklan. Okay, so again, dito nagdagdag tayo ng semicolon right here and a semicolon right there. Where normally, comma lang yan. Now, kailan siya nagiging semicolon? Kapag again, yung kinahati niyang dalawang salita ay related. Okay, so Tondo, Manila, hindi na pwedeng semicolon dyan. Kung Manila to San Fernando, kung lalagyan ko ng comma yan, ibig sabihin pareho sila. So, hindi yun totoo. Kaya, ang lalagay natin is, yung semicolon instead. So again, if you have further information about the items in the list, to separate each item from the list, including yung, yung dagdag or tag na description sa kanya, dapat ang gagamitin mo in between, semicolon na lang. Kasi yung comma, iba na yung naging, naging purpose niya. Okay? Now, dito tayo sa second purpose ng semicolon, which is joining two independent clauses. Now, when do you use a semicolon versus a colon? Three things or three details. Number one, when the two independent clauses are related. Number two, kung walang conjunction. And number three, when there is a conjunctive adverb. Now, it's a mouthful, no? Pero hihimahin natin isa-isa. So, dun muna tayo sa una, when the two independent clauses are related. 
So, ibig sabihin ng independent clauses, actually, pwede mong gamita ng period. Ibig sabihin, standalone sila pareho. But, ginagamit natin yung semicolon instead of a period, kasi gusto natin i-emphasize na hindi natatapos yung statement. Na meron silang kahit pa paano a bit of a relationship yung pangalawang sentence na yon. Okay, so yung example natin here, it says, Jana likes to use watercolor, Laika likes to use acrylic paint. Now, if you notice, again, you could use a period lang dito, in between. But, kung period kasi siya, parang masyadong related or masyadong magkapareho yung pinag-uusapan, which is preference ng art materials, para gawin ko siyang period. Again, period pwede, pero kung gusto mo yung mas stylistic or mas maganda, mas maganda kung gagamitin mo instead of a period would be yung semicolon natin. Now, bakit? Kasi these two independent clauses are related, okay? May relasyon sila in that pareho sila na preference ng art materials, but mayroon din tayong limitation dyan. Okay, ang limitation natin dyan is yung kung paano natin ginagamit yung colon. So, para tong semicolon versus colon. Another thing that you have to look at would be, ano ba yung relationship na yan? So, alam natin kapag related semicolon. Pero kung ang relationship niya is something more than that, nagiging colon siya. Okay, so parang love life lang din, no? Kapag related pero hindi sobrang emphasized or wala mo siyang emphasis na sa relationship, walang further explanation, semicolon. Pero kung meron na siya na emphasis, meron ng further explanation, mas malalim na siya, it becomes a colon. So, let's take this example. No? Jana likes to use watercolor. Her portfolio was filled with soft flowers done in watercolor. So, again, itong dalawang independent clauses na ito, this time, they are both about Jana. And yung second statement na yung kanyang portfolio ay puro watercolor na flowers actually adds or explains yung first part. So dahil ganun na katiba yung relationship nila, in this case, hindi na siya semicolon, colon na siya. Okay, so napakanipis yung pagkakaiba na yun. Kaya nga a lot of people get confused sa kung anong gagamitin eh, semicolon ba or colon. Kaya they just revert to using a comma or, or a period instead. But a bit of a note, dito na papasok yung tinatawag natin comma splice. Kapag gumamit ka ng comma where there should be a colon or semicolon instead, nagiging mali din siya minsan. Okay, so again, mas maganda, kung sa first one, since the two independent clauses are related, you use a semicolon. Pero kapag tumawid na yung relationship na yan into emphasis or explanation, if mas malalim yung relationship, you use a colon. Okay. Yeah, so again, when you're joining two independent clauses, and when those two independent clauses are related, pero the latter, or yung pangalawang independent clause, does not emphasize or explain the first. Related sila, pero hindi emphasis, hindi explanation yung pangalawa. You use a semicolon instead of a colon. Now, the second instance would be when you're joining two independent clauses, and there is no conjunction. Bakit? Kasi kapag may conjunction, hindi ka nagagamit ng semicolon. In this case, uh, it says Haley is sleeping soundly and she is snoring loudly. There are a number of things that you could do to tweak this sentence para maging mas maayos siya or mas maganda siya. Yung first one would be to eliminate yung sh and she. Okay? Pero kung gusto kong i-emphasize yung punctuation marks, dahil may end siya, which is a conjunction, hindi ako pwedeng gumamit ng semicolon. Okay? Kasi again, kapag walang conjunction, dun ka lang pwede gumamit ng semicolon. So, instead of a semicolon, ang gagamitin ko would be just a comma. Okay? So, Haley is sleeping soundly and she is snoring loudly. Na ang gusto ko talaga gawin is gumamit ng semicolon, ang gagawin ko ay tatanggalin ko yung conjunction na end. Okay? So, buburahin ko muna siya. Tapos, lalagyan ko ng semicolon after soundly. Kasi yun yung pagitan ng dalawang independent clauses. So again, mangyayari, Haley is sleeping soundly, semicolon, she is snoring loudly. Okay? So again, related, pwede kong ikabitan ng semicolon. Uh, ano na to? Ano ba? Taste basis na, tsaka context basis. Uh, kung ang ilalagay ko dyan ay colon or semicolon. Ako, I choose to say na semicolon kasi... Mm, it doesn't really emphasize anything. It doesn't really explain anything then. It's related, pero hindi siya dumadagdag doon sa explanation. Parang it's just another thing na nangyayari. Pero related kasi pareho pa rin tulog, no? 
Now, another way to use the semicolon when you're joining two independent clauses is when there is a conjunctive adverb. This is the part that gets a little bit weird. Kasi kapag conjunction, hindi ka pwede gumamit ng semicolon. Pero kapag conjunctive adverb, kailangan gumamit ka ng colon. Okay, now, bakit kaya? Kasi again, yung styling ng punctuations natin, no? Kasi yung conjunctive adverb, kadalasan nasusundan niya ng comma. Kung comma rin yung gagamitin ko bago siya, okay, parang comma-comma, nagiging tanggalable yun or nagiging interjection yung itsura nung, nung conjunctive adverb. So it also makes sense na, okay, instead of using a comma before and a comma after, I'll just use a semicolon before and then a comma after. Now, let's take this example. Sabi dito, you don't have to be a child member to be part of Team Laika. However, being one would help us help even more people. So again, two things na pwede mong sabihin paghiwalay natin. You don't have to be a child member to be part of Team Laika. That is the first. Ito yung ating first na independent clause. Yung pangalawa is, however, being one would help us help even more people. Kung gusto ko silang hatiin, at dahil may however, at dahil yung however na yan is one of yung ating mga conjunctive adverbs, no? Ito siya, oh. And again, there are more, ha, do sa listahan. Hindi ko lang inilagay lahat. Ang gagawin natin would be, maglalagay tayo ng semicolon after like a. Okay? However, tapos yung however, it stays there. Hindi rin siya ikakapitalize kasi gumamit ka ng semicolon. So, hindi siya period. Kaya, lalagyan ko siya ng comma after however. So, ganyan yung magiging itsura niya. Okay? So, again, bakit? Kasi these two things are related. Di ba? But, uh, you have to separate it. Kasi kung hindi, you have a, a very long sentence. Ito ha, a quick tip lang din. If you want to kind of impress your employer or impress your teacher sa mga papers ninyo, if you know how to use a semicolon and a colon properly, sobrang dagdag yan, pandagdag na pogi points yan. Kasi, again, most of your classmates would probably be using just a comma or a period. Ikaw, kung alam mong tama gamitin yung colon tsaka semicolon, makikita nila, oh, wow, this kid knows yung, yung mga rules. Same then with the dashes, no? So, yung hyphen m dash tsaka n dash, kung alam mo yung tamang gamitin. Mas maganda. So, if you haven't seen that, pala, by the way, nakalink din siya sa, sa description box at tsaka dun sa i button. And atong sinasabi ko dito sa sentence na to na you don't have to be a channel member to be part of Team Laika. This is a real statement, no? But if you want to know how to be part of Team Laika and how to be a channel member here, here on YouTube, you can click right here sa i-button to find out more about that. Okay? So again, thank you sa lahat ng mga channel members, rookies, at MVPs na natin. Thank you for making it possible for me to churn out this content. Now, Dito na tayo sa quick quiz natin. So again, punctuation, semicolons. I'll give you time. All you have to do is to add yung semicolons dun sa paragraph where they are missing. Okay? And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now.
Alright, let's see how you did. So, ito yung ating paragraph. Hahanapin natin kung natin lalagay yung mga semicolon natin. So, it says here, I set out to reach and teach as many students as possible. Therefore, I must create content across multiple platforms. So, again, yung therefore dyan is a very telling clue. That is a conjunctive adverb. Yung dalawang statement na to, yung I set out, tsaka yung I must create content across multiple platforms, they kind of are related, no? They are, they kind of, they actually are related. So, what I would do would be, lalagyan ko ng semicolon right here before therefore. Okay? Next, here are some of the things that I do on a regular basis. Tapos meron kang colon. So, lead or explanation ng mga sequence or things na enumerate ko. So, we have full video lessons on YouTube. That is one. Shorter video lessons on TikTok. Tapos meron pa akong interjection na which, by the way, need to be under three minutes long. Tapos meron akong pangatlo, which is live teaching sessions twice a week on Kumu. So, again, tatlong bagay yun. Ililista ko here para mas kita. Number one, full video lessons. Number two, yung shorter video lessons on TikTok. And number three, yung live teaching sessions. So, Dahil may mga kama in between, may mga m dash pa tayo, no? Big sabihin, may additional information about them. I Kailangan natin sila i-divide. Doon napapasak yung, again, another function ng semicolon. So, lalagay natin dito, full video lessons on YouTube, semicolon. Shorter videos on TikTok, which, by the way, need to be under 3 minutes long. Tapos, another semicolon right here. And then, yung last na ginagawa is, and live teaching session, sessions twice a week on Kumu. Okay, so now you have one, two, three, patlo na yung ating dinagdag na semicolon. Next, doing all these requires serious work. Keeping the schedule requires serious rest. So again, itong doing all these requires serious work is an independent clause. Keeping the schedule requires serious rest also is an independent clause. The question na here would be, should I put a colon or a semicolon? Now, they are related Pero yung pangalawa doesn't explain the first one. So, I, I would put a semicolon here. Okay. Tapos yung last natin na sentence, it may be exhausting, but it's always worth the effort. Now, dito na tayo papasok dun sa up, my butt. So, dahil meron dyan na, um, na conjunction, hindi ko dapat yan lagyan ng semicolon. So, kumpleto na yan. We have one, two, three, four. But, again... If you want to add a semicolon, what you would have to do would be, tatanggalin natin yung but here, tapos gagawin natin tong semicolon. Okay? So, it may be exhausting. It is always worth the effort. But again, this one right here is forced, optional na yan. Apat lang yung talagang idadagdag without moving things around dito sa paragraph na ito. So, I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions or quick questions in my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Like Amarivalia on Instagram for the new quick quiz questions sa ating Instagram story. That is where you will find yung mga bago kong pinopost. And uh, that is also where I ask you kung ano yung topics na gusto yung pag-usapan next. And uh, you can also follow at Team Like for the throwback uh, quick quiz questions and announcements sa mga upcoming events natin. And if you're on TikTok, you can also find me on TikTok at Team Laika for the math and English video lessons. We have 200, around 200 videos there right now. So you can start binge watching those. One to three minutes lang naman sila. And at Laika Marivella for the more personal stuff. Motivational videos, advice videos, mga vlog type ng content. If you want to get to know me a little bit better, that's where you can turn to. We also have yung ating mga podcasts right now. So if you want to check it out, I'll flash na lang the links to them sa Spotify. The Trying Hard Podcast is my personal podcast. And yung Get Hard Podcast for those of you who are looking for a job. These can help you. All right? See you guys online. All right, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung exam din sila. Lato yung salami tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. Thank you guys. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss yung mga paparating pa lang ng mga videos. You have more videos coming up. And as we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Aja, aja. Kaya nyo yan. I'll see you in my next video. And... Bye for now.